Polly Tucker, notonthehighstreet.com. Notonthehighstreet.com is a marketplace that supports the best UK businesses. So we have 5,000 incredible UK businesses um, and we have an amazing customer base and we basically merge those two together where they discover very unique products that aren't found on the high street as the, the name uh, suggests. And yeah, it's been a fantastic ride when we're in our ninth year. The biggest challenge is taking on a lot of businesses, a lot of products every single day um, and understanding how to organise those products um, in a very um, clever way, uh, in a way that's actually based on the customer's behaviour and actually what they're looking to buy rather than actually maybe what an algorithm might tell you or you know a type of filter. Delivery, marketplace delivery um, is a, you know, a constant challenge. Um, we sell anything from a card to a dining room table so actually just understanding that delivery from a real customer point of view so you've got to have something that actually can um, match the high street brands and other marketplaces and yet what we do is support small British businesses and so you're not dealing with very large businesses that can swallow up deliveries and uh, fees etc we're going to get really, really smart. Everything's going to be super, super smart. And then I think actually what um, the people that will succeed will be have a brand that actually means something. Today, I've just been giving the same advice to the winners, that actually, great that you've got a platform, great that you've got everything sorted. Have you got a brand? And when the chips are down and you've got competition, it's not going to be about a commission rate. If it, it, you, You've got to be more than what your um, platform looks like you are. And so when we started, we were championing small British businesses. We were breaking the glass ceiling for women in business and so actually that has actually stood us in good stead for these 10 years because as the platform has grown and it's become more like a machine um, the heart and soul is still alive it's everybody because we have 12 departments you know we have um, thousands of categories and we do everything except TVs so actually everybody's our competition but then in terms of actually our space and marketplaces Etsy's for hobbyists and we're for micro businesses who are looking to scale and so that's where our point of difference is I've recently been talking to the founder of HubUp, um, which is a um, it, uh, waitrose for small businesses, that um, food businesses. It's very close to my heart. Um, and um, I think what they're looking at is very interesting. I think there's a whole turn now um, for people to go back to tradition. And actually, they like to have heritage. Um, and it's how can technology and that mix together. One, the number one um, piece of advice is to stay true to the cause and what you actually created um, and that you know the moment that you have to start to become something else is the moment that you will not do yourself a, a, a favour. Always remember what you were actually doing when you started the business and it's one of the pieces of advice I gave to everybody out there which was write down what that core mission is and just remind yourself now and again when you've got to make those decisions because it's very easy to get swept away um, with day-to-day -day life.